Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumasetti. In this video, I'll cover one of the important topic in DBT, that is DBT macro. So this is one of the important topics we use regularly in day-to-day -day activities. Okay, so I'll discuss one by one. So in this video, we'll cover what is DBT macros, what exactly DBT macros is, and the syntax of DBT macro, and how to invoke a macro, and example of macro. So we'll see in this one step by step. Okay. So DBT macro is nothing but say, it's a piece of SQL code that can be reused. It's a block of SQL statements or conditional statement that can be reused. So it's simple, so if you see in Snowflake, we're having the concept of UDFs and processes, user defined functions and a process. Same thing in DBT macros will access UDFs are processes. Simply it's a main for code reusability purpose. Once written, we can able to reason multiple places. Simple thing, DBT macro is a piece of SQL code that can be reused in multiple places, in multiple models, in multiple macros. Okay, hope this is clear. Okay. Next point is that what syntax. Okay, syntax nothing but what's in. So macro, macro name, argument one, argument like a number of macros. So see starting macro, ending macro, our logic will be written inside this macro so you see our logic come here okay so macro name of the macro number of arguments and one more important update is that what from 27 september a new batch is going to start on dbt within 10 days you can able to expert in dbt okay let's discuss this practical the dbt macro use case okay we'll see the syntax okay see this is dbt cloud i'm trying to create a new file Okay, see, okay. Shard can see what happened, underscore, underscore, macro. Okay, so so what happened, simple use case, I want to do, I discuss it in the syntax, macro, name of the macro, arguments. Okay, our logic should be written. Same thing, simple example, I'm trying to use, sum of two numbers. Okay, sum of two numbers, simple macro, a macro. Okay, so sum of two numbers, macro. On how many arguments we should get, we should pass two arguments, num1 and num2. Same thing num1 plus num2 so this is what this is a macro we should save in macro folder okay sim in the macros control v dot sql so remember dot all of dot sql in the macros okay so create a macros dot sql okay so this is the same so we have defined the macro and we can able to reason multiple places okay. so plus symbol okay now what happen okay see select macro name so one comma two now try to execute now it will throw error okay now see what happened okay it's saying so unknown function see remember so macros can be called with the help of like this okay we should put in this like this way we can so then we can able to call the same okay see control enter So it's saying what, okay, see, so see, remember, you should be in a position, so it's saying invalid in for num1. So see, now dbt cannot be able to understand what is num1. So we should say num1 is a argument. So we should put like this so that it can able to understand, say, it's an argument, argument. Okay, see, control is, try to execute one more time. I'll try to you one more use case. So see, control enter. Okay, so it will be, so you'll get three as the output. Okay, same thing. So dynamically pass 10, 20. Now we'll get out plus 30. Okay. What the point is? You see one more time. I'll try to explain one more use case. Okay. Now I want to find addition of three numbers, two plus three. So I want to make it dynamical. So make use of macros. Okay. So macros. Okay. So macro name is what? What? Sum of three numbers three numbers okay so this is the macro name so how many arguments i should pass num1 plus num2 plus num3 okay how can it understand as a mac okay so put in okay the like this way so that assume it's a arguments okay save the same thing save the same thing okay where i should save in each folder i should save in the macros folder so macros so control v dot Yes, given so create now. How to call this macro or how to invoke this macro is by using select statement. See, select select so macro name. So put in the flower braces and how many arguments I should pass one, comma, two, comma, three. Now we'll get out plus six. So it's a dynamic process is six. Okay, now what's saying? So see, takes not more than one argument. So you go back here, 
Now what happens? Sum of three macros. So we did not pass the arguments, I guess. Okay, see, we should pass how many arguments? Pass three arguments, num1, num2, num3. Okay, save the same thing. Now come back here and try to invoke or call this macro. So control enter. You'll get output as six. Same thing, make it different thing. It's a dynamical way. So DRY. So don't repeat yourself. So macros are nothing but what define one time and we can able to use in multiple places. Okay, hope this is clear. So this is one of the important thing. So we'll use regularly in our DBT development. Okay, see. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.